I mean it. So people have been going talking about going to Mars since the 1950s, and we obviously haven't made it there yet, even now. But people like in NASA and SpaceX are promoting to get us there in the next tennis years. But some experts say we should go for the scorching, toxic land, Venus. Yep, I literally mean it. So, so in 2015, uh, people of NASA announced Havoc. Okay, it's not the coolest name, but still. This, would, this project would send, for, for a month they would do this, and send two people into Venus's atmosphere, about 50 kilometers. So this does sound awesome, and I am getting into some cool stuff. So this could also mean that in the future we'll have floating cities. So, and then people living in these floating cities, obviously I'm, I'm speaking way too fast, but still, they would go down to the surface and colonize and terraform Mars. But of course, that would take a while. So, so they would also flood it with, flood 80% of the planet with water, or strike the planet to warm it after we do that. But those both would take a while, but I think floating city is worth it. I'm not done. So the hydrogen, nitrogen, and sulfur, and other stuff I'm not gonna get into, is perfect for making crops. We just need something to protect us from the sulfuric acid rain, or H2SO4. So this does sound cool and all, but I think floating cities are Awesome, but no bulky astronaut suit. Awesome. This was Captain Adam. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye.